discovered I'm your only friend. It's great, you're helping all these random people and everything. But stay off the radar. Something happened to one of ours. So I'm obligated to look into it. Thought you were retired. Oh, I am. Just like you're dead. <laughs> yeah. What's the matter? They knew what floor she was on. They're tying up loose ends. Exactly. She's a partner for seven years, Mac. It's a mistake to go to war with him. It's go time. They're going to war with me. It's go time. Whoever did this have off chart skill sets. They're with the agency. Family. You ever see Star Trek? Very good. Call 911. They killed my friend. So I'm going to kill each and every one of them. And the only disappointment is that I only get to do it once. Ha! This is Trinidad, the Island Man, your Island Man, coming to you live once again. Wow. Off Island. <laughs> and yes, this is Trinidad, the Island Man, your Island Man. Currently not in Hawaii, on the island of Oahu, but in sunny, well, it's uh, dusk now, so, uh, you know, coming close to nighttime in California, Los Angeles, bringing you, yes you, the best move reviews, which are still on the island if you're on the island. <laughs> and, uh, well, opening weekend for this weekend, Equalizer 2, starring Denzel Washington and Pedro Pasquale. Let's just get into it. Rating scale, as you know, shaka thumbs up, it's good to see, I recommend it. Shaka thumbs down, it's bad to see, it's junk, I don't recommend it. And for Equalizer 2, starring Denzel Washington and Pedro Pascal, I'd have to give it a shaka thumbs up. Now, this was a wonderful film. Uh, if you'd seen the first one, of course, you know how good the first one was. Uh, this returns the director of Anton Fuqua, of Black Panther, of what got Denzel his Oscar in Training Day, um, and of course Creed. Um, so, you know, it's by no surprise that uh, Denzel Washington agreed to go ahead and do a sequel to Equalizer 1 after you know, the uh, success of the first one. Uh, if anything, I think people were just a little dissatisfied with the amount of action, uh, especially at the end uh, with that movie. And in this one, part two, they definitely gear it up a lot. Uh, we have a whole team of people going after the Equalizer, uh, basically on his level. Uh, no cops or gangsters this time. Uh, although you do see slight uh, moments of just him uh, doing the equalizer job as, you know, the TV character's sake would uh, go ahead and do. Um, you know, there are a couple of side jobs that you kind of see a little bit of in the trailer where he rescues some people from bad situations. And he does that throughout the film, still building upon his character and you know his his story overall and we get an important backstory more about how the death of his wife inspired him and now as you've seen in the trailers the death of his best friend uh possibly his only friend uh back you know from his mysterious uh cia uh past um you know affects him and drives him to find uh her killers and uh, when he does, this time, he doesn't hold back. <laughs> uh, so yes, uh, if I've read a little bit about this before I went into the movie, so I knew kind of that it was going to end in a large hurricane. And that definitely adds a touch of you know, drama and suspense uh, to the movie along with the action and adds, of course, to the action, which is what I'm sure Anton Fuqua had when he presented it to Denzel Washington. Uh, in interviews, Denzel said, uh, you know, those were the hardest parts to film just because you're getting all wet by the downpour and the water. And, you know, it could have easily, you know, overtook the action or just became a little bit too far-fetched. But it, it's handled, uh, 
you know, in such a way that I feel that it just enhances the film and the final fight uh, overall. Uh, so definitely go ahead and see it when you can, uh, especially if you're a big fan of Denzel Washington. Um, you know, in the interview, he says he doesn't do very many movies uh, because he, you know, it's not about, to him, it's not about doing the most movies possible. It's about doing the quality of movies that he wants to, to do. And, uh, you know, for him to come back and do a sequel uh, was very surprising, uh, despite, you know, how good the first one was. He usually doesn't do any sequels, uh, he says. And, uh, you know, so him and Anton Fuqua is definitely a strong team together. And he felt something for this character. A lot of people are saying that maybe this is the character that fits Denzel Washington the best. The quiet man, you know, intellectualizing, uh, yet stands up for what he believes is just and right. And when it comes to making sure that things, you know, if they're not just and right, get equalized, especially in today's, uh, you know, political and, uh, you know, social reality. That's kind of a nice, you know, uh, thing to see take place. All right. Well, thank you so much. This is Trinidad, the Island Man, your Island Man, currently off island in <laughs> beautiful California, uh, LA, Los Angeles for the weekend. Uh, going to check out some things. I'll post some, some more stuff. Going to see some sites. And uh, what I do, I'll let you know. But uh, in the meantime, if you want to go check out Equalizer, feel free to. It's definitely a shock of thumbs up, and you'll enjoy it. Oh, um, over here in L.A. and some other parts of the mainland, they have, uh, you know, in, uh, in Hawaii, we have the RPX, the IMAX, 3D, of course. Here they have something called the 4DX. Now, I've heard of this from other movie reviewers. Uh, but in Hawaii, we don't have it. Hopefully, it'll come eventually, but it is higher than the IMAX price. So IMAX is like $18, $20. Uh, these tickets were $25 to see the equalizer. But 4DX puts you right into the film because your, your set chair, your seat is like a carnival ride, essentially. Uh, the seat moves. It doesn't just vibrate. It moves. It shakes. It actually sways you back and forth as somebody's like driving a car uh, down the road. If he's like turning fast, you feel the motion of it. Uh, you know, there are puffs of wind back from behind the chair so that you feel like, you know, the wind in your face as, you know, the characters are driving on the screen. Uh, during the hurricane scene, during the rain and everything, there were mists of air uh, and water you know, little sprays of water that hit you in the face. So it really does put you into the uh, into the movie itself. And there's a little warning, you know, before you buy the ticket that, you know, oh, if you get like motion sickness or, or lights hurt you, because sometimes the flashes, you know, there was smoke in the movie and thus there was smoke uh, in the theater. Um, what was the one other thing? Oh, uh, they were eating breakfast and you could smell like the marmalade or the honey or something on the toast they, they had that so so you get smells you get sights and sounds and feeling during the fight scenes the shaking if they're rolling on the ground your chair is like violently vibrating uh, and uh, you get little puffs of air as they punch people in the face so in your face so you can kind of sort of feel it as it's happening to the characters on the screen so I definitely highly recommend it hopefully Hawaii will get it um, it might have influenced my Shaka thumbs up for this film, but overall, you know, I, I enjoyed the performance of Denzel Washington and uh, Pedro Pascal. He makes a good villain. Hopefully he can get uh, something where he's kind of the hero for a change, uh, other than his TV show Narcos, I guess. Uh, <laughs> and he doesn't get typecast as a villain in the movies. All right. Thank you so much. This is Trinidad, the Island Man, your Island Man, live here in LA, Los Angeles, California, giving Equalizer 2 a shock a thumbs up. All right, thank you so much and aloha.